Oh, I knew I shouldn't have come. I'm bound to have nothing in common with anyone. I won't know anyone and no one's going to be interested in me. Hmm, this is so nerve-wracking. Well, she seems nice. Maybe I should speak. N no, I'm bound to say the wrong thing. How come everyone seems to know each other? Oh, I just want to go home. Maybe it would be better in here. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at all those groups. Now, how am I going to break in? OK. I'll go and get myself a drink. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's better. Right, now, what's this? Ah, OK. I'm going to take my drink and I'm going to stand over here and I'm just going to look confident and people just, well, just think I'm in control. Yeah, that's right. That's better. Oh, just look at everyone. They all look so comfortable. I mean, how can I possibly just go over there and say, hello? They'll think I'm mad. Oh, but I know I should speak to someone. Oh, please, please, somebody just come over and talk to me. Please, oh please. If you have problems walking into that room full of strangers, if you have problems breaking the ice, knowing what to say, moving out of groups, etc., then I can tell you this, you are normal. We've worked with thousands of people and asked them all how do they feel, and they too have all those fears. Let me highlight a key fear here, and that is fear of the unknown. When we walk into that room, we're a bit overwhelmed, aren't we? Look at all those people in that room. We don't know them. They're strangers. Let me open your eyes. Let me tell you that whatever room you go into for the rest of your lives, every room will have no more than six formatted groups. There's the person standing on his or her own. We've highlighted that. Then there are the open formatted couples, standing like that. Then the closed twos, facing each other. Then we have the threes, three people standing in a semicircle. Normally it's men. Then we have the closed three, the triangle. Often that's made up of two or three women. You see, women build relationships far quicker than men. That's why they get closer more quickly. And then you get the circles, the groups of four or more. What does all this mean? Well, what it means is that you need to survey the room. The three groups, i.e. the person on his or her own, the open twos and the open threes, from their body language are saying to you, please come and join us, we'd like to meet you. However, the closed groups of two, three and four their body language is saying, we're having a private conversation here. We're rather comfortable with our own company, so stay out. The easiest group to approach, or the easiest person to approach, is always the person on his or her own. 